When did you get into boxing? So, a lot of people don't know this, but Joe Frazier is like my second cousin. Really? Yeah. So, hey, actually, Uncle no, no. Joe? I take that back. Third cousin, because it's my grandmother's first cousin, my dad's second, so it'd be third cousin. But does he know who you are? Yes. I'm well, just making sure, because we be doing with the cousins, and even they don't more even know. So it. now, because he's dead, so he sees everything I do. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, like I've always been a fan of boxing. Boxing's always been on in my crib. So, have you knocked out anybody? Um, well, yes. Okay. But like, not like unconscious to where like I <laughs> a ten count. But I like in <laughs> sparring. Sparring is a bunch of mini fights uh -huh. before the main fight. So I did this thing celebrity boxing last year, and I had to spar against a lot of people. And like, yo, I had some really tough days in the gym where like, yo, like I was getting my bell rang and it got to a point where I, I started figuring out what I was doing and ringing some bells myself. So but when I was minute, finally able to drop somebody, it was dope. But wait a minute, I thought celebrity boxing was play. No. Well, uh, for some people it is. And I don't ever want to do anything as WWE unless we're doing WWE. You know what I mean? So like, no, like, like that was for real. Yo, the first punch I took, yeah, that was a live round. I can't imagine getting hit in the face. What was it like? Okay, oh my God, do I want to do this? I mean, did it hurt? Did you want to cry? Well, the very first time I got hit <laughs> in sparring, it was like, whoa, okay, this is a fight. I don't want to get hit again. Right. So then you start getting into it a little bit more and there's a big fine line between boxing and fighting. So like, when I first was going into the gym, I was fighting, but Pepper taught me how to box. And I became a better boxer as time went by. And it started, you know, you start to know what it feels like to get hit. It doesn't bother you as much. And you just roll, you know, the punches just kind of roll off you. But then one day they brought a guy in there, he hit me so hard that I heard like the, the reboot sound your computer makes <laughs> when you restart it when you got Windows. Right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You were like, okay, I'm yo, having a problem here. Yo, it, it, was, it was a good shot. It was just a different, you know, cause like- But did you want to stop at that point feeling that way? Like, wow, I just got hit and nah, I- Nah, because I've never quit anything. Okay. Ever. At the end of the day, all right, how can I defend myself better so I don't get caught? like that no more. Oh. And I went out there and it looked good. And you did good. I, you know, it was a draw, but the street but still, said, the street street said said something else. The you know street said you got it, right? The street said I won. The win for me was not looking at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I that know was that's my goal. right. Like, I can't I imagine, look, yeah. You can't live that down. Like, oh, head crack, got his head cracked. <laughs> like, like <laughs> right. yeah, I don't want, yeah, no. So for you, who's your, mine is your uncle, your cousin, mm -hmm. uh, all-time favorite uh, boxer? Michael, uh, Michael Tyson. Michael Tyson, Mike Tyson. No one calls him that. Michael Tyson. <laughs> but no, nah, Mike Tyson's my favorite boxer because, yo, he was the youngest heavyweight champion ever. Mm -hmm. He, he represented hip hop culture, he embraced it unlike anybody else in that sport did at that time. And for him to go through everything he's gone through and be where he is in life now, yeah. it's dope. Cause there was a lot of people who thought he wasn't gonna make it out of the nineties, you mm, know? That's true. Have so, you ever met him? I have. Okay. And, it was, and how was that? It was, you know, sometimes when you meet somebody that you are a fan of and you just say something stupid. <laughs> what did you say stupid? So we was at this <laughs> Yale Haiti benefit thing. You remember when Haiti had yes. a really bad earthquake? Mm -hmm. It was like early 2010s. Um, I saw him there because he was one of the, the celebrity phone answer people. And, uh, oh, yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah. It was like me, Mike Tyson, uh, Hitman Howie T. No, not, not Howie T, but Herbie Lovebug. You okay, know, yes, yes. Up. But I saw Mike Tyson. I was like, yo, Mike Tyson, I use you all the time in fight night. And what did he say? Thank you, brother. And the, what else? Something else, but that was about it. But it was just like, <laughs> damn, uh, all this love I got for this brother, that's the one thing I could think to say. Because I, like, I didn't know what else to say. Okay, and, wait, wait. Don't tell me that's it. Well, no, then I ran into him again at uh, Comic-Con. Okay. And he was on a patio smoking a cigarette. And he's like, hey, brother, do I know you from somewhere? I was like, yeah, we met like you a long time ago. You do that well. I was, do it I'm again. Like, Yo, brother, do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like I met you a couple years ago in Florida at the J. Lay Haiti thing. And then we started talking and I interviewed him real briefly. Class act. Then nice. I ran into him again another time in Vegas. He even signed like a, a heavyweight belt for me. 